everyone. So today I thought I'd do a video about things that drivers do that annoy me. And yes, it's going to be a little bit of a ranty video. And I do apologise in advance. But anyone who knows me knows that I get bad road rage. Anyone who's been in my car or has known me a long time will know about my road rage. And every time I drive somebody new, I do warn them about it because I know it could happen at any moment. Yeah. So, but the first thing I'm going to talk about is when people tailgate. This really winds me up because if you're doing the speed limit, someone always has to do that little bit more. And they try and force you and force you to go faster and faster. And it's like, hello, it's 30 for a reason. Like, there's people can come out behind cars. There's animals down this road, like foxes and cats. And do you know what I mean? Like, I can understand if I was doing 20 miles an hour, but I'm not. I'm doing the speed limit. And yeah, everyone does it. Everybody goes over the speed limit and like when they're in a rush and things like that. But what's the point in tailgating someone? You're just going to end up making that person angrier. And if anything, they're going to slow down just to piss you off. So, which is what I do. So yeah, tailgating is just very annoying. And it's really bad on the mo annoying on the motorway as well when you're in the slow lane. Yes, slow lane. I want to go slow or to the speed limit. There's another two lanes there if you want to overtake me, so go ahead. No, no, I'll just sit on your tail. When there's nothing in that lane, so I don't understand the logic of that either. Another thing that annoys me is indicating or not indicating in people's cases. When you're sat at a roundabout, and obviously it's give way to the right, and then there's nothing coming apart from this one car comes up from your right hand side. So you think, oh, I better wait just in case. Not indicating. So what do you think? Oh, maybe they're coming round then. No, no, no. Turning left. So you sit there waiting like a lemon because they're not indicating. It used to wind me up when I was a pedestrian as well because you're waiting to cross the road. And sometimes like you only get like a quick chance to cross the road. And if some douchebag doesn't indicate, then you assume they're going to run you over so you don't cross the road and then they turn off that is so annoying really really annoying or they indicate last minute so you won't turn right out of a turning and someone's coming along the road blah 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 and they turn they turn left into your turning but they don't freaking indicate till they get there and you're like oh well thanks for that now i have to wait for another 20 cars when i could have easily just got out yeah, really, really annoying. Or like, you'll be driving behind, behind somebody, la la la, and then all of a sudden, indicator, break. Oh, well, thanks for the um, warning, mate. Cheers, cheers for that. Like, yeah, I really wanted to slam my brakes on and nearly hit you. Oh, some people really, really need to learn to drive. Like, I'm no angel. Like, everybody does things that they shouldn't do when they're driving. But things like that are just really stupid. Another thing on motorways is when people sit in the middle lane or the fast lane and go slow, right? If you want to go slow, there's a lane and it's called the slow lane. It's called slow for a reason, which, like, I get embarrassed if I sit in the middle lane for too long when I'm trying to overtake people, right? Fair enough, if you're overtaking somebody, go into the middle lane, go into the fast lane. Don't sit there and do 60 miles an hour with about 30 cars behind you. Hold the whole thing up. The people in this in the middle lane then can't get past you, or the slow lane can't get past you because we're not allowed to undertake. Uh, so we're all sitting there like lemons doing 60 miles an hour. Whereas if you just went into the slow lane, everybody could get past you. That is the whole point of it. Like that's what. Can you not learn mo? You not do you not know how to drive on the motorway? Like seriously. Uh, it used to wind me up. I used to do a 12 hour shift at work. So come onto the motorway and then some douchebag will be doing 50 miles an hour in the fast lane. Yeah, it's so tempting to go up the inside and I can see why people do it. My main thing that I hate is people on their phones. Right, if you're really, really that desperate to make a phone call, then pull over or pull off wherever you are and into a safe place. Because you can cause an accident. I mean, my friend who I used to work with, when he was younger, he was walking along and a car hit him and it was a hit and run. He drove off. But all my friends saw was the guy with the phone in his ear. So obviously this guy wasn't concentrating. Somebody walked out across the road and before he knows it, he's hit them. Because 
he was too busy involved in his phone call to bloody look where he was going. Some people need to get off their phones when they're driving. Like, seriously, when I see them driving along, it makes me so mad. Another one of my pet peeves is when you get somebody who's doing 30 miles an hour in a 40 zone. And you're desperate to go and get somewhere. My, in my job, I'm a carer, and I have hardly any travelling time between jobs. So I literally have to, like, finish a job, get in the car, get to the next one as soon as I can. And there's always a douchebag that decides to uh, do 30 miles an hour in a 40 zone. And you're like, hello, hello, are you there? Come on. And there was one this morning. And he was going so slow. And I thought, what is he, seriously, what are you doing? And I looked, I could see him in the, in the, in the mirror, like the wing mirror, not the wing mirror, the uh, mirror in the middle. Well, I drive and I don't even know what the name of it is. Yeah, the little mirror. Yeah, I could see him in the little mirror. And he was turning around, talking to whoever's next to him, fiddling around down here. And I was thinking, will you just drive? Like, seriously, can't you piss around with that when you've stopped? Like, why, what are you doing? And I, oh, I just don't know. Some people just need to concentrate on their driving and not whatever else is in the car. Another thing is, when you go down a narrow road and you have two cars parked opposite each other, or a lot of cars parked opposite each other, because some roads haven't got a lot of parking, so that's to park opposite each other. Why is it that some people, there's a per perfectly good gap a little while, way away, have to park, like, right next to each other or right opposite each other? Like, the other day... I have to go to this lady every morning to care for her, care for her, and there was a, two great big vans parked like nose to nose like that, and about that much gap to get through. And I was like, "Are you serious?" I had to go so slowly to get through it, and there's no way an ambulance or anything like that would have got through if somebody needed one. And there's a lot of old people who live around there, so they would need doctors and things like that, and ambulances and things. And it really pissed me off because I thought. They would have no chance. Like, I can just about get through. And this morning, I saw a big dust cart come down there. I don't know how... Like, it wouldn't have got the through there yesterday. No chance at all. So, people just have, like, need to have more consideration to where they're parking. Like, I always make sure I'm not opposite somebody or blocking anything or things like that. Because, one, I'm worried about my car getting hit. And two, it's just nice to be considerate. And along those lines as well... When people are coming towards you and the car is on their side and they expect you to stop for them. Um, no, it's on your side, so you stop for me. And just because you've got a bigger car than me it doesn't give you the right of way either. Which they will learn if they, they meet me because I just go. And if they want to keep going then that's fine on them. Like, I don't understand why they think they're because they've got a bigger car they can pick on me. And also along those lines is... When they don't, when you do let them go, they don't say thank you. I mean, how hard is it to go like that to somebody? Or flash your lights at somebody? So, that was my end of my car driving rant. If any of you have any, like, things that you hate when people are driving or anything like that, then let me know. I'm sorry about my rant, but, yeah, I thought it had to be said. So, I will speak to you soon and... Oh yeah, by the way, this is how my hair turned out. It's like a pinky purpley colour, so... It keeps ch it changes colour in different lights. So yeah. Right, I will speak to you soon, my lovelies. See you later. Bye.